Welcome to our R Lebanon channel. Middle East Airlines, Air Liban Sal Tayaran Al Shark Al Orsat, Al Qutit Al Juria Al Lubnania, more commonly known as Middle East Airlines MEA, Tayaran Al Shark Al Orsat, is the national flag carrier airline of Lebanon, with its head office in Beirut, near Beirut Rafik Hariri International Airport. It operates scheduled international flights to Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa from its base at Rafik Hariri International Airport. Middle East Airlines MEA, is a member of the SkyTeam Airline Alliance, the Arab Air Carriers Organization AACO, and the International Air Transport Association IATA. The airline expressed its interest in becoming a SkyTeam associate member in early 2006 at a press conference in New York. On 28 February 2011, MEA officially signed the partnership agreement with SkyTeam in an official ceremony in Beirut. On 28 June 2012, Mayer officially joined SkyTeam to become its 17th member, as well as its second member airline in the Middle East. History Middle East Airlines was founded on 31 May 1945 by Saeb Salam and Fawzi El Hoss with operational and technical support from BOAC. Operations started on 1 January 1946 using three de Havilland DH-89A Dragon Rapides on flights between Beirut and Nicosia, followed by flights to Iraq, Egypt, and Syria. Two Douglas DC-3s were acquired in mid-1946. Pan American World Airways acquired a stake and management contract in September 1949. Pan Am was replaced when BOAC acquired 49% of MEA's shares in 1955. A Vickers Viscount was introduced in October 1955 while an Avro York cargo aircraft was leased in June 1957. On 15 December 1960 the first of four de Havilland Comet 4Cs arrived. After the association with BOAC ended on 16 August 1961, MEA was merged with Air Liban on 7 June 1963, which gave Air France a 30% holding, since relinquished. The full title was then Middle East Airlines, Air Liban. In 1963 MEA also took over Lebanese International Airways. The fleet was modernized with the addition of three Sud Aviation Caravelles in April 1963, three Boeing 720Bs in January 1966, one leased Vickers VC-10 in March 1967, and a number of Boeing 707-320Cs from November 1967. The current name was adopted in November 1965 when the airline was completely merged with Air Liban. Although operations were interrupted by the 1967 Arab-Israeli War, and by the Israeli raid on Beirut Airport in 1968 in which, the airline lost three Comet 4Cs, two Caravelles, a Boeing 707, the Vickers VC-10, and the Vickers Viscount, MEA restarted by acquiring a Convair 990A from American Airlines, which entered service on 24 June 1969. A Boeing 747-200B entered service in June 1975 on the Beirut-London route, and later on the Beirut-Paris-New York route from April 1983 until mid-1985. MEA had to adjust its operations to the realities of war in Lebanon between 1975 and 1991 and despite multiple closures of the base at Beirut International Airport, was able to continue operating against all odds. Airbus A310-300s were acquired in 1993 and 1994, followed by an A321-200 in 1997 and the A330-200 in 2003. On 28 June 2012, Middle East Airlines joined the SkyTeam Alliance to become its 17th member and the second in the Middle East following Saudi. The airline has introduced self-check-in kiosks at Beirut's International Airport as of July 2010. The airline is also planning on launching the Arabesque Airline Alliance with six other Arab carriers. Their future plans include floating about 25% of their shares on the Beirut Stock Exchange BSE as part of a long-term plan to fully privatize the airline. A majority of the airline is 99.50% owned by the Central Bank of Lebanon Bank du Liban, and employs around 5,000 staff group-wide, as of February 2009. In November 2011, the chairman unlawfully terminated the a pilot who had cancer. 
This has forced the pilot union to go on strike as of 29 November 2011. Fleet Development during an interview in March 2007 with MEA, Chairman Mr. Mohammed El Houd indicated that the airline had three Airbus A330s and four Airbus A319s later converted to A320s on order and that the airline would start taking delivery of the first aircraft in May 2007, another in 2009, and the last three in 2010. On 27 June 2007, MEA announced it would be taking a $60 million loan from the Lebanese bank Francibank to purchase two Airbus A320s. The loan would be repaid over a 10-year period. In early October 2007, MEA announced a modified livery for its fleet as well as an increase of its A320 order from four to six aircraft. In November 2009, MEA placed an order for an Airbus A319 with delivery expected late 2010 to early 2011, but this was later converted to another A320 order. In 2012, MEA confirmed an order for five Airbus A320neos later converted to A321neos and five Airbus A321neos along with eight options. All aircraft will be equipped with Wi-Fi. The first aircraft was delivered in July 2020. MEA received its 11th Airbus A320-200 on 2 October 2013, painted in a SkyTeam livery. On 5 January 2016, the MEA Group took delivery of an Embraer Legacy 500 business jet, to be operated by Cedar Executive, a Middle East Airlines subsidiary. On 28 December 2016, the airline revealed the purchase of an additional Airbus A330-200 aircraft. On 28 June 2017, the MEA Group took delivery of a second Embraer Legacy 500 to be operated by Cedar Executive, a Middle East Airlines subsidiary. On 6 April 2018, Chairman Mohammed El Hout confirmed that MEA will purchase four additional wide-body aircraft with the possibility of an additional four options. The airline would choose between the Airbus A330-900neo and the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. On 12 December 2018, MEA Chairman Mohamed El Hout signed an agreement with Rolls-Royce, the sole engine supplier of the Airbus A330neo opting for four aircraft of the Airbus A330-900neo variant. On 17 June 2019, during Paris Air Show, Middle East Airlines signed a firm order for four Airbus A321XLR, making it the launch customer of the aircraft type. On 10 July 2020, Middle East Airlines took delivery of its first Airbus A321neo aircraft, equipped with a modern in-flight entertainment system as well as Wi-Fi connectivity. The airline will gradually phase out older A320 aircraft as more A321neos are delivered. Frequent Flyer Program In 2011, Middle East Airlines changed its frequent flyer program to a four-tier program Blue Cedar, Silver Cedar, Golden Cedar, and President's Club, respectively in preparation for joining the SkyTeam Airline Alliance. Silver Cedar, Golden Cedar, and President's Club members gain numerous benefits such as access to the Cedar Lounge at Beirut Rafik Hariri International Airport, as well as outstation lounges at all MEA destinations. Golden Cedar and President's Club also include guaranteed seat reservation in economy as well as other extra benefits. Cedar miles can be earned and redeemed on all EMEA flights and on all flights operated by Air France, KLM, and Qatar Airways, as well as codeshare partners on certain routes. Cedar miles can also be earned during stays at all Rotana hotels and all Hertz car rentals worldwide. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.